Well, the new series Criminal Record will have viewers on the edge of their seats as an anonymous phone call awakens an old murder case and the detective, played by Peter Capaldi, determined to protect his legacy. Take a look. The caller, they made an allegation regarding wrongful conviction. It was an old case that you'd worked on as SIO. Okay. A murder. The victim was Adelaide Burrows. Burrows, 2000 and... Case went to trial 2012. 2012, yeah, already. The man charged. Errol Mattis. Errol. Poor man, OJ. Excuse me. And Peter joins me now. Welcome, Peter. Good to have you here. Great to be here. This is a great show. I yeah. was watching this last night. I mean, it's getting rave reviews. Your performance is getting rave reviews. Thank you, you. You know, do you read the re reviews? I don't because really I, a lot of people uh, say. No, I don't read them because I think if you believe the good ones, then you've got to believe That's the, right. the bad ones. And also, I think I'm quite a fragile. So <laughs> really, when I, a lot of actors are, right? If someone says something unpleasant about you, you don't want to hear that, do you? Nobody so wants it's, to it's hear upsetting. That. So I avoid it. But the nice thing is, I, there's a certain vibe from my people who are here, uh, <laughs> yeah. who are telling me from, from Apple that the, the, the show's going down well, which yeah. is great. It's going to be great, I think, because I, I, I couldn't stop watching last night. It was only time that made me stop. Oh, great. It was interesting that you recognized Kush there from an yeah. American show. You went because she's in The Good Fight. Yeah. But she's actually never, in which she plays an American. Yeah. And this is the first time she's been seen on television using her own accent. I because think that's what threw me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know her. Yeah. Um, but this is the first time that you're playing a cop. You play Detective Chief. Yeah. Inspector Daniel Hegarty. So what initially drew you to this character? I think it was the complexity of the writing, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I love cop shows, I love detectives, but I think sometimes in, they can be a little... Um, because the shows are made in such volume, often the, the characters are the same at the end of the season as they were at yeah. the beginning, i.e. The, the events of the show don't have a consequence. But with this show, we try to make rounded yeah. characters who what's going on around them actually changes them. Yeah. So there was a depth to him, which I really he in, enjoyed playing. He was more complex, playing. more layered than some other characters. And he was also quite um, veiled. Yes, you never he was. really sort of know what's going on with them, and that's quite hard for me to play. So I quite like that. Oh, you like a challenge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, as we see in the show, this old case comes back into the spotlight, um, and it brings a lot of things, a lot of tough topics to the surface. You're yeah. dealing with police corruption, yeah. institutional racism, um, miscarriages of justice. But is there? You know, I feel like you have to kind of hit the right tone yeah. when you're dealing with things like that. Yeah, I mean, the show is set in London, which is amazing and, and wonderful city, a great bubbling cauldron of humanity. Um, but we have had some problems with our police force over the last uh, few years. I mean, they do an amazing job, of course, but there are there was a report which recently said that they were institutionally, you know, racist, misogynist, yeah. and homophobic. So you can't do a show, a police show, set in London and without dress it. embracing that in some way. Yeah. But at the same time, we, we, we felt a great responsibility to try and make rounded characters so that you understood perhaps why right. uh, some people end up the way they do. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Kush. I know that the two of you have worked before yeah, together. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you executive produced this together as well. Yeah, yeah. I know that you have, you've acted, you've directed, yeah. but why was this the right project for you to kind of take on that role? Well, this, the, 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 the top executive producer on this show is my wife. Oh, there you go. Who's, <laughs> who's called uh, Elaine Collins, and uh -huh. she uh, created shows like um, Vera, uh, which is very popular in, in, in Shetland. And uh, she was working on this show, and uh, I, I kept seeing it going on. And I, so that, that part of the, the, the detective looks, looks interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're looking for someone, why don't you look here? Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of how I ended up in it. Um, that worked out well. It did, but but also I became involved in the, uh, being an executive on it, which was time-consuming and and, yeah. and hard, and and uh, it, you know it was a real job. It wasn't just a kind of vanity title. Right. The funny thing was, one day I'd go to work and I'd be an act, I'd be an actor, yeah. and people would say, "Let's get you to your trailer. Would you like a cup of coffee? What do you want for <laughs> breakfast? How are you doing today?" Yeah. Then the next day I'd turn up uh, as an executive, and there was no trailer. There was no, uh, <laughs> and no and you're the people are asking you to get coffee. They're going, "Who's that guy? What's and here's my <laughs> yeah. problems for the yeah. day." You know. We just have to mention uh, Doctor Who sure. real quick because obviously you were. Uh, 
uh, the twelfth Doctor Who. Yeah. There's a new season coming. Do you watch the other care the other guys who play Doctor love, Who? Yeah, I love the new one. Shuchi is amazing. I just he's just made his debut at Christmas time and he was fabulous. You know, he's Scottish like me as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, but I think he's brilliant. He just has such vigor and verve and love and affection for the show, which is what you need for it. I think he's I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does with it. I love that. Well, you can catch Criminal Records streaming today on Apple TV Plus. Definitely check that out. Thanks so much. Good to see you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.